Hello everyone, this is Hot Peanuts and welcome to my channel. We are here in Sioux City, Iowa and we're exploring some of the places here. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the beautiful and nice places to visit in case you are taking a trip and staying in Sioux City, Iowa. It is a small city and the places are not very far from each other, so even if you are only staying here for a few days, you will be able to visit or see all these places. Number 1, Sioux City Art Center, which is located at 225 Nebraska Street, Sioux City. The modern building itself in its location is beautiful and perfect for taking a short walk. Around the building, you can see some interesting sculptures created by local artists. Inside the building are exhibits, visual arts, 3D arts, paintings. The permanent arts which include more than 1,000 artworks in a wide variety of mediums and styles. The collection features artworks by both nationally and internationally recognized artists, but the heart of the permanent collection is by artists from the Upper Midwest, many of them ties to Sioux City, Iowa. There is also an exhibit which features arts created by both professional and amateur artists and even high school students from around the area. Admission is free but they accept cash donations. Number 2, Sioux City Public Museum, located at 607 Fort Street, just across the Wells Fargo building, which is also a walking distance from the Sioux City Art Center. This museum displays artifacts donated by the people of Sioux City, Iowa. You can see interesting artifacts and learn about the history of the city at the same time. You, you can see a collection of old modes of transportation, old fire trucks and fire equipment, antique clocks, all forms of entertainment, sports equipment and apparels used by famous players in the area, musical instruments and photos and information about famous musicians who are natives of Sioux City, Iowa, different kinds of gemstones and other interesting artifacts. Admission is free but they accept cash donations. Number 3, Dorothy Picot Nature Center, located at 4500 Sioux River Road, 8 miles from downtown Sioux City or 12 to 16 minutes drive. Upon entering the vicinity, you will be greeted by cute butterflies at the butterfly garden in front of the building. Inside the building, you can see both live and taxidermid animals which are native in the area. There is also a glass wall where you can see a display of the different kinds of birds' eggs found in the area. If you enjoy hiking, there are beautiful trails where you can enjoy a nice walk and enjoy the beauty of nature. The trees are beautiful and the place is nice and cool. There is also a children's playground and adults like me can also play. If you love music, there are also musical instruments that you can play and create your own music. I had so much fun and because it was in the forest, it made it sound more relaxing. Number 4, after leaving the Dorothy Picot Nature Center and driving back to downtown, don't forget to drop by the Train Railroad Museum on your way. The museum is located at the former Sioux City Engine Terminal and Car Repair Shops of Chicago, Milwaukee Street, St. Paul and Pacific Railway, also known as the Milwaukee Road. In 2018, this site designated as the Milwaukee Railroad Shops Historic District was placed in the National Register of Historic Places. It is a 32-acre complex that offers a rich history of what life must have been like for all those railroad workers who spent their days keeping the trains running. 
The museum is closed on Mondays to Wednesdays and we went there on Tuesday. We didn't know that it was closed. We were driving by and we saw the sign so we decided to stop by and look. And we saw a sign at the gate that this was closed. Luckily, when some of the gentlemen who were working there saw us at the gate, they let us in anyway. One of the men gave us a private tour. He let us go inside the caboose and showed us around explaining everything and telling us about the history of the place and the trains. There's a dining caboose and the man even showed us the kitchen and gave us a lot of information about the things inside it. Then he gave us a tour inside the other old caboose and explained how it was operated. Then he took us inside a building where old locomotives are being displayed. Although it was hard for me to understand everything he was saying, it was so much fun seeing all the parts of the locomotives and listening to him explain how all the parts like the gauges work. The information was overwhelming but it was such a great opportunity for us to learn the history of the trains in the railroad system. My favorite part of the tour was inside the railroad model building. The railroad model is impressive. It is huge and there are several trains running back and forth the rail model. I had so much fun watching them go around the rail. This is perfect place for kids. Number 5, the Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center located along the Missouri River at 900 Larson Park Road, Sioux City. The mission of the center is to impart the public personal sense of President Thomas Jefferson's vision of expanding America to the West, inspires awe and awakens curiosity towards the challenges faced by the expedition as Lewis and Clark portage the Great Falls of the Missouri River and explore the unknown. The 20,000-acre park which stands along the banks of the Missouri River offers visitors an impressive collection of permanent exhibits that focus on the expedition's story from July to September 1804. The expedition's military operation comes to life in murals and exhibits such as interactive devices, computers, flip books, stamping stations, text and graphic panels, lift and drop panels, a brass driving station, and reproductions of military equipment. There's also a theater where guests can view a 15-minute film, A Visit with William Clark. Throughout the center, everyone can enjoy realistic animatronic characters of Thomas Jefferson, Captains Lewis and Clark, Sergeant Charles Floyd, and Seaman and his prior dog. Connected to the interpretive center is the Betty Strong Center, where photos and arts exhibits are being displayed. It also offers programs, events, and activities that explore themes of the land, rivers, and people of the region. Number 6, Surgeon Charles Floyd Monument, which is situated at the top of a hill overlooking the Missouri River at 2601 Street, Lewis Boulevard, Sioux City. The monument commemorates Surgeon Charles Floyd, the only member of the course Discovery who died in the journey. He died on August 20, 1804 from illness. The main attraction at 23-acre park is a 100-foot obelisk of heavy kettle river sandstone marks the final resting place of Surgeon Charles Floyd Jr. This is also a perfect place to watch the sunset. The view of the Missouri River in the sunset is relaxing. People come here not only to see the obelisk and take photos but also enjoy the beautiful sunset.
Number 7. If you just want to chill and relax in a peaceful, quiet, and clean environment, you can take a walk around the Grandview Park. A new addition to the park is the amphitheater where local concerts and events are held. But during normal days, the place is not very busy so you can enjoy the peace and quiet. Sioux City might be a small city but it's a lot of beautiful places to visit. Most of these places have free admissions and they only accept donations. So next time when you come to Sioux City, Iowa, do not forget to visit these places which all ages can both enjoy. I hope you had fun watching this video and I hope to see you again in my next videos. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Miss Everdeen. Hmm. <whistles> Mocking Jay. <laughs> Down here you can go in this little